So hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm on the top floor of the convent and I'm stood outside of the lift shaft. So I've never seen inside this lift shaft before. I brought <laughs> my lock picks. Um, the lock looks pretty simple. So I'm gonna have a go at picking that quickly and we'll see if we can open this door. So I've been trying to pick that lock for about 20 minutes now and I've had no luck. However, right next to the lift is this box which says keys of the lift break in case of emergency. There we go. That's a cruel joke. There's no key in it. inside the lift shaft. I think I can stand up in here. Oh, just about. My head almost touches the ceiling. There we go. Now we've got light. <laughs> so I'm up in the lift shaft control room. Um, this room is essentially where you have the electrics for the lift the huge motor which lifts the lift up and down. Um, this is pretty cool. This door is on the counterweight, so it's actually really easy to open. All right, the reason I'm up here is because I think they might have possibly put a key up here. Um, just a spare key, because I can't find one anywhere. There's a bit of a cruel joke running at the moment because they had that box that I broke which had <laughs> no key in it. Very interesting. What date is this? 2009. So this was an etude. So this means a, um, a, like a service basically. So the electrics aren't on for the lift itself. They're off at the moment. Um, these electrics here are literally just for the lighting. Right. Where could this key be? Hmm. Well, that looks complicated, doesn't it? <laughs> wow, look at that transformer, it's huge. 
So I'm not going to touch any of that. I'm going to close that back up because that is scary looking. Is there anything up here? A key at all? There's no keys there. Nope. What's this? That is the company that um, does the lifts. Hmm. Wow, you can see right down into the lift shaft. So I can't see a key anywhere. If it was me, I would have put a key up here. Just a spare key, just in case the others get lost at any point. You can see here, some of these cigarette butts. They were obviously having a bit of a smoke up here at some point. What's that? Oh, it's a moth. It scared the crap out of me. Right, so turn the light off. There's an emergency light, which is pretty good. The door won't open for some reason because the tiles that are here are slightly higher. <laughs> <laughs> than the lift shaft itself. Um, I don't know why that's happened. However, we can see inside the lift shaft. Ooh. God, it's really hard. I'll just put my hand in there a minute. Can now see inside this lift shaft. Let me just put the torch in. Right, there we go. Zoom in a bit. Very interesting. That's all we can see everyone. What a shame. It's a bit disappointing, isn't it? It's just a lift. <laughs> uh, it's probably a good thing that it can't open all the way because I'll probably want to get inside there. And that's probably not a good idea because that lift uh, needs a little bit of work before it can be used. Especially this weird door situation where I can't open it all the way. Ever since we've bought this building, I've always been intrigued to know what is above the false ceiling in the refectory. So I'm currently studying the refectory. This is where all the nuns would have communally ate. I imagine there were some big long tables in here with lots of chairs. The false ceiling, I think, was probably put in around 20 or 30 years ago. Well, today we're gonna to find out because I've got a ladder I've got a multi-tool for making a small incision in the ceiling and I've got a torch and a camera. So let's crack on. the false ceiling wow it is much higher at least a meter higher than the rest of the room and you know what it's not even in bad condition um, the only thing is it's not very ornate it's quite basic which is a bit of a shame but never mind at least we know what's there now 
At some point, when I renovate this room, I would like to remove the false ceiling because this room is 110 square meters, it's huge. And to lose a meter of ceiling height is a bit of a shame, really, I think. Um, yeah, we made a bit of a mess up there. I'm covered in dust, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all part of the adventure. It's half 10 in the evening and I've come back to the convent for a specific reason. During this week's vlog, you saw Duncan, the electrician, on a ladder on the facade of the convent, putting up architectural lights or exterior lighting. Um, so I'm literally waiting for it to get dark a little bit to turn the lights on for the very first time. So it's dark enough now, I think. You can see here, there's a switch that Duncan installed and it's got a little green light so it's easy to find when it's dark at night. So let's turn these lights on for the first time and see what they look like. I wasn't expecting it to look as amazing as it does now. Thank you so much to Duncan for doing amazing work. You've really brought this building back to life, especially when it's dark like this. It's glowing and it looks amazing. You can see all the architectural features. So I'm really, really happy with that. I think that was money well spent. Thank you so much, Duncan. And thank you to everyone for watching this week's video. And I'll see you all next Sunday.